Do you use an RSS newsfeed reader? I use Newsboat. Newsboat is a terminal-based RSS reader. I've been using Newsboat for a few months now. I'm not that avid of a newsfeed reader. I don't use RSS feeds that much. But today I was playing around a little bit in Newsboat, and I was and the idea struck me. What could I view in an RSS reader other than just your standard news site feeds, you know, your typical blog sites and news article sites? What else could you do with RSS feeds and have that output in your RSS reader of choice, in my case, Newsboat? So today, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to play around a little bit and show you what you can do with your RSS news feed reader. So I use a terminal-based RSS reader called Newsboat. Let me go to my desktop here, and I'm going to launch Newsboat here. Got it hotkeyed. So this, again, it's terminal-based. Let me zoom in so you can see what's going on. But it's your standard news feed reader. I have a list of RSS feeds that I've added to Newsboat, and it displays them. So if I navigate, I don't know, to Linux Journal News here, and, you know, it's got the last 20, 25 articles from Linux Journal. I could click one, read the little preview. If I wanted to read the whole thing, you know, I could go to a, a proper web browser, maybe a terminal-based web browser like Lynx, since I'm already in the terminal, to read the full article, or a graphical web browser like Firefox or Chrome would work just fine. Q to back out. So let me get back to the beginning here. Um, how do you populate Newsboat? Well, you do that with a plain text file where you just add RSS news feeds basically URLs. Let me open a terminal and again I'm going to zoom in. So if you use Newsboat there should be a directory on your system called dot newsboat. If there's not create that directory and in the dot newsboat directory there should be a file called URLs. If it doesn't exist create that file URLs and then in that file uh, launch that file the URL file in your favorite text editor. I'm going to edit it here in Vim, but you could use any plain text editor is fine. Let me quit back out of that. I, I did not launch the correct file. Vim URLs. I typed Vim URL without an S. Alright, so this is my URLs file. It's got all my feeds, and I could keep adding as many feeds as I want, but you know, today I got to thinking, does it really just have to be news sites? I mean, that's how most people think of R RSS feeds as news feeds, but what else could we add to this list? One of the really neat things you can add to any RSS feed reader is subreddits. Your favorite subreddits over on Reddit, all of them have RSS news feeds. It's not obvious that they have an RSS feed because there's no RSS icon anywhere. Nothing on the page indicates that you have a RSS feed to subscribe to, but you do. All you need to do is at the top of the page you'll have the name of the Reddit, you know, r slash Linux. All you need to do is change r slash Linux to r slash Linux dot RSS in the URL. If you hit enter, you can see, you know, you get a little pop up here in Firefox that this is an Atom syndication feed. It's a news feed. So now that you have the proper URL, copy it and then put it over in the URLs text file, that plain text file that we discussed earlier, so I closed it out, so let me cd back in the .newsboat directory, vim urls, zoom in here, and then write that, relaunch newsboat, and there you go. The very last feed is r slash Linux, Linux, GNU slash Linux, free salt. That's the description from that particular uh, subreddit, r slash Linux. We could actually change this. Matter of fact, I probably would change that because that's not very obvious what that news feed is because it's going to be completely different than all these news article feeds. So what I would do is here in Vim, let me enter insert mode, and what you need to do to add your own custom title to a feed here in Newsboat is you need to do a quotations, then the tilde character, and then write the title that you want to go with. I'm going to go with Reddit, colon, and then r slash Linux. And then, of course, the ending quotation marks. I'm going to write that here in Vim. And now let me 
relaunch news boat and now as you can see the title has been changed now it's pretty obvious what this is r slash linux if i hit enter you know here are all the the latest posts on r slash linux i could read you know a little preview of it here so that's one thing you could do reddit news feeds what else can you add the next thing that i think most people would find really neat to add to their rss newsfeed reader is YouTube channels. Every YouTube channel has an RSS feed. YouTube does not make this information widely known. It's Although it's public information, you're not going to find any link anywhere on anybody's YouTube channel to an RSS feed. There's no RSS icon anywhere on the page, no link saying subscribe to a news feed or anything like that. You just have to know that a channel has a news feed and the proper way to add a YouTube channel news feed is let me go back to the Vim document where I was adding URLs and if I zoom in this last line I just added www.youtube.com slash feeds slash videos dot xml question mark channel underscore ID equals and then you need the channel ID what is the channel ID well that is this really strange group of characters right there uh, if you go to most YouTube channels, uh, instead of a proper name like DistroTube, a lot of times the URL will have this string of characters, usually beginning with a capital U, and I have that. So if I, I don't know, copied that particular channel ID there, and then just pasted this into the document here. So I've added my channel ID. Now, uh, again, I, I don't want just a, a random, you know, link or a URL from YouTube as the title of the feed so again I'm gonna quotation marks tilde character this time I'll type YouTube in all caps colon so it's obvious it's a YouTube channel and not your standard news article site and then the name of the channel which is my channel DistroTube in quotations let me write this file and relaunch newsboat and zoom in back to newsboat and you can see the very last thing is YouTube distro to so we have now added a reddit subreddit we added a youtube channel what else could we add well you can add anything right anything that has an rss feed so i've kind of played around with this today and i've discovered a few different things that i could add to my news boat so let me show you my configured news boat that i spent an hour or so on this morning so this is the news boat config that i did earlier today so what i did is the first thing is I have these comment lines now in my URLs uh, file here and if I open Newsboat it will be obvious what those comments do you see the comments here they're basically it's like Newsboat tries to treat this as a RSS feed but of course it's not a RSS feed so you see zero of zero there's no news feeds to read there it's really a, a dead URL right it's just dashes hyphens but anyway it's a really neat because visually it breaks up you know the groups of rss feeds that i've added here in this file let me close news boat so the first section here of course is i just titled it news feeds and every single news feed here i prefaced in the title with all caps news feed again so it's obvious that these are news feeds and that these are your standard like news article sites so YouTube channels here let me close that so this is just some YouTube tra channels some Linux related YouTube channels that I went ahead and grabbed the channel ID for and I just added just to see how they work in newsboat and they work fantastic I added you know a few uh, Jupiter Broadcasting Brian Lund, Duke Luke Smith and a variety of others Linus Tech Tips is on here level 1 techs and then I yeah you know, I picked about 10 or 12 of the uh, 100 or so Linux channels that I'm subscribed to just to test this out and then the same thing with reddit I added 10 or 12 subreddits here in newsboat again just to try out the next thing that I found that you could add were GitLab and GitHub repositories. So I have a GitLab page, right? And I can get the RSS feed from that by simply adding dot atom to the end of the URL. Kind of like we added dot RSS to the end of the Reddit URLs. Find your favorite GitLab page and just add dot atom at the end and you have the feed. And that allowed me to add my GitLab 
feed here here in Newsboat, and it works on GitHub as well as GitLab because I went to Luke Smith's GitHub page and dot Adam over on GitHub does the same thing. SourceForge, you can find RSS feeds on SourceForge. Those are actually on the page. There's an RSS icon. You just click on the icon and you can add SourceForge RSS feeds. Mastodon has RSS feeds for every user. I will tell you though, the RSS feed is not that user friendly or it's not that uh, useful I'll show you in just a second and Arch Linux I just happened to notice that the Arch Linux website had a number of RSS feeds that you could subscribe to such as packages removed from the repos packages added from the repos packages added to the AUR as well as changes in the Arch wiki so let me show you Newsboat so this is what I've got here right so this is news boat there's the news feeds there's the YouTube feeds there's the reddit feeds the git repos my repo Luke Smith's repo SourceForge Mastodon I will, let me show you why Mastodon is not that useful because if I hit enter here every single entry here is titled the same thing new status by DistroTube it really doesn't give you a preview of what I posted or commented so I probably wouldn't bother with Mastodon, but it was just neat that Mastodon does have feeds for every user. Uh, I haven't tried the Arch ones. I just added these to the to the URLs uh, file. So Arch package added. Let's see what that is. So these are the latest packages added to the Arch repos. So pretty neat. And if I wanted to see about the latest Linux LTS that was added, I could hit enter. And it doesn't really give me any any information, but it does give me a web address. And again, I could open that in a proper web browser if I wanted to read the full article. The Arch Wiki. So the latest changes to the Arch Wiki. So somebody edited the page called List of Games, and I could, I guess, see what changes they made. Pretty cool. Anyway, hope you guys find this a little useful. I, I, I think it's kind of neat, some of what you can do with RSS news feeds feed readers it's, it's something I had never really considered doing most of this stuff before I thought it was just for reading news but the fact that I can get YouTube RSS feeds is really neat reddit RSS feeds I will definitely use the YouTube and reddit feeds and I'll probably use some of the git repo uh, feeds too because I you know do follow some people on GitLab and github and that's a neat way of getting you know new changes to certain repos is just having those RSS feeds in your favorite RSS feed reader. Probably won't use the Mastodon one. The Arch one would be useful if you were an Arch user, and particular if you were a contributor to the Arch Linux distro, then you would find those very useful. Before I go, this show was made possible by Ansem, Carlos, Chris, Douglas, Dylan, Leo, Rob, Robert, and Tony. They are my highest tier patrons over on Patreon. They are the producers of the show. Also brought to you by all those fine ladies and gentlemen. They are the supporters of this channel. Without them, none of this would be possible. If you'd like to support my work, please consider doing so. You'll find me at DistroTube over on Patreon. Okay, guys. Peace.